Good morning, folks. We begin with the re-ramp of seismicity. Coronal holes becoming geoeffective. The moon conjoining multiple celestial bodies at the same time. Mars and Saturn conjoined in the evening sky with Neptune in near-perfect solar opposition. 6.6 .6 was the initial magnitude of last night's Chile quake. Was downgraded to 6.4. The other area of underground effect was in Iceland where the uptick ramped into magnitude 5 range and subglacial lava flows were detected at our volcano on alert. Warning code changed to red although as of this morning they state no eruption is in progress. You will remember surface surges shown yesterday from that central sunspot. Well those continued overnight and continue into this morning. In fact they're still ongoing. They are completely driven by sea flare activity at best, and one of those surges must have left the surface because NOAA's Enlil spiral shows a faint CME heading in our direction due to impact on August 26th, but nothing to worry about. As for energy input, we took a gamma burst this morning from Canes Venetici in the northern sky. The solar wind plasma is dropping way down in speed again, under 300 kilometers per second. The solar flaring, as mentioned, not getting back up over sea range, at least the sunspots are making it interesting. That former reverse polarity sunspot is now all square but with rapid positive growth to its south and more instability, very likely. The incoming active regions responsible for the M flares are in decay, with the mixing still alive in the tail but fading fast there as well. Incoming southern spots have the size, they appear to be lone wolves. Let's talk drought. It's apparently so bad in the western US that the ground is rising up. Some of the before and after pictures are so astonishing that I initially thought these images were faked. Folks, if this is an accurate representation of the situation, then it is a wee bit worse than I had envisioned. Well, how about the other extreme of this nature? This comes from the Baltimore Sun showing a landslide due to heavy precipitation. It's okay guys, do the jingle. We'll end on a positive note when it comes to news, aesthetic beauty of Greenland's ice swirls courtesy of NASA's Earth Observatory. Spot of good news in the Atlantic. While the system did become a depression overnight, all models now show it missing US landfall. Alerts cancelled there. The systems in the Pacific are all sticking around but allowing Marie to the right to take over all the power, gaining major strength but also expected to stay offshore. The story in North America is much of the same. Major northern flows of heat and moisture to a low near the Canadian border. Severe storm warnings and flash floods to be expected again. High pressure dominates the far southwest Pacific, but for a single low inching her way in there, that's our lone area of concern down under tonight. Meanwhile, I feel like a bit of a broken record in Europe. Same two systems, same two areas on alert in general. Mobile Observatory Project heads into Western Canada in two days. Check out the schedule. And website members, don't miss yesterday's hour of discussion for Fly on the Wall. We hit all the topics we wanted to hit and more. Got the rest of the world's storm zones and shots of our star to close. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, 4.30 a.m. Mountain Time. That's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.